from pole to pole, from the tops of the mountains down to the depths of the oceans. Rising air temperatures, increasing ocean heat, steadily melting ice sheets and glaciers, accelerating sea level rise. Animals and plants changing their ranges, in many cases dying. Over the Earth's four billion years, there have been five mass extinctions. Four were driven by climate change. We're now in the midst of a sixth. And this one is entirely 100% human caused. We must stop it for humanity's sake and for the sake of all life. It's 10 years, nine months, and 16 days until 2030 when humanity must be halfway to net zero to have a fighting chance of avoiding truly catastrophic climate breakdown. Every day counts. We are truly playing with fire. Terrifying tipping points loom in the future, but we can't pin down exactly when we'll slide irreversibly into them. We must stop burning fossil fuel. It's time that our government started listening to the scientists instead of the oil companies. The oil companies are literally out to steal your future, to convert your future into their short-term profits. Even more money for their already filthy rich pockets. How much money does one person need? It's time that our government started listening to the scientists. Um, it's more important for you to be here than for you to be in school right now. A detention is not the end of the world, but the end of, the civil, the end of civilization, which is what we're driving toward right now, kind of is. What's the point of quietly sitting in school when the future they're promising you has nothing to do with the future that's staring you in the face? What's the point of sitting in school when the leaders don't even listen to the world's best scientists. But together, we're turning the tide. You guys are turning the tide. The youth are leading the way, and that's how it always had to be. Because you are the ones with the most to lose. You're the ones whose lives are at stake. You are demanding climate justice. You are demanding that the people in charge today stop stealing your future. Yes! This this movement won't go away. It will only get stronger. I'm 100% confident of that. Because this movement isn't driven by economic cycles. It's driven by physics. Um, it's driven by accelerating climate catastrophe and increasing global mean temperature. As the climate continues to break down, this movement can only get stronger. It has no other choice. So I say to every politician everywhere, you discount this movement at your own peril. And I say to all of you, hold their feet to the fire. Your lives depend on it. Yes. As the great Greta Thunberg has said, when we, start, when we start to act, hope is everywhere. What you are doing here today is exactly the right action for this moment. We need to wake up the adults because there are plenty of solutions. All we need to do is choose them. To make that choice, we need to wake up the public. Climate breakdown is the most urgent problem facing humanity. We need action now, and you are the earth protectors. But this is about the kids, so I'm gonna cede the rest of my time to my son, Zane. He's 10 years old, he's in fifth grade. Yes, he's been school striking for the climate uh, since December. Yeah. Following Greta. So take it away, Zane. The reason I climate strike is because the earth is burning before our very eyes. Adults, the one with the power, just sit and watch it burn. I climate strike because the adults are ruining the world for future generations. So kids like me have started to contribute, but it is nothing compared to what the government and adults can do. When I climate strike, I try to make you realize that the earth is on fire. I climate strike because very soon it will be too late to turn back. 
I climb a tree because our planet is beautiful. It used to be even more filled with life, but we can't focus on the past. We have to look into the future and change the future. Every single animal cannot do anything to stop climate change except for humans. We are the only ones and we have to stop climate change. So many people are already dead because of climate change. Many more fatalities are to come. You just hop on your plane and kill more people and the planet. mother to an 11 year old asthmatic child and she grew up in South Central LA. Les vamos a presentar hoy a Lizette Hernandez, que es parte de Physicians for Social Responsibility, right? Okay, es una ingeniera dedicada al medio ambiente y una madre a un niño asmático de 11 años. Ella creció en el sur centro de Los Ángeles y vive cerca de uno de los campos de, de petróleo más grandes urbanos de Los Ángeles, cerca de Kenningham Park. Denle un aplauso, por favor. All right, how's everybody doing today? Is this the youth of Los Angeles? Man, am I feeling the energy over here? All right. Sisters, brothers, my queer brothers and sisters as well. My name is Lizette Hernandez. I am Maya Lenka Nahuatl from Central America, also called Cuscatlan. And I also happen to work at this phenomenal organization called Physicians for Social Responsibility. Now, I am not a physician, but I am a scientist. I'm an engineer. And like many of you, I struggled to get through our communities where we had to battle many things, right? Um, in order to go ahead and get into a community, or to, well, to get to colleges and to get the degrees that we needed to get. But I did that with a vision and with the hope that one day our communities would be able to take charge like you are today of our lands, our waters, our planets but not in a white settler colonial way. We are here to decolonize our minds, is that right? And we're also here to decarbonize our air, is that right? And we're here to democratize City Hall, right? So we are here today and I'm representing South Central Los Angeles to let you know that we are the bodies of evidence we are the externalities. We are the people that have been left out of, of City Hall to make sure that environmental crisis is addressed in a way that is socially just, economically just, and racially just. And so we call that environmental justice. And the environmental justice movement has existed for well over 30 years. So we are here to ground the Green New Deal and let you know that we are ready and we have been ready to make this work happen. And it is shameful, it is shameful that our city leaders and many of our elders have not stepped up to the plate with the exception of my mentor and boss, Marta Dina Arguello on the back. And many others, right, that have mentored us and it is so refreshing to see you all together, united with this critical analysis that many of our elders do not have. Yeah. And you will be the prayer that is answered from our ancestors to you. Yeah. You are that prayer. And so I, I leave with this. Follow 
your instinct. Follow your gut, follow your spirit, and follow Mother Earth. Stay grounded. Peace out there. Our planet, so if we want to plan it, we have to do something about it. So thank you. 